Details are still unfolding after the deadliest attack on law enforcement since 9-11. Five officers were killed overnight in Dallas during what was supposed to be a peaceful protest over police shootings in two other states. Snipers, though, opened fire, creating a scene of chaos. Dallas police say officers were ambushed Thursday night when snipers opened fire on police during a protest downtown. You can see in this cell phone video one of the suspects shooting at officers using a column for cover. In another video, a man nearby records the sounds of more gunshots as police move in. It's almost like the gunshots were coming at us. Officers used their patrol cars to take cover. We know that rifles were used to injure and kill Dallas officers and a dart officer. We got a guy with a long rifle. We don't know where the hell he's at. We got one more shooter out here. Dallas's mayor says 12 officers were shot. Five died, including Brent Thompson, the first ever dart transit officer killed in the line of duty. Another dart transit officer, Misty McBride, was shot in the arm. Her young daughter spoke to reporters outside the hospital. I'm just glad that she, that she's alive, really. Three of the suspects were taken into custody. One suspect, 25-year-old Micah Johnson, was killed after an hours-long standoff with police. Law enforcement used a surprising tactic to end the standoff. They put a bomb on a robot and set it off. Johnson just recently left the Army Reserves and would have had training in the use of a rifle. In the daylight, you can see the aftermath of the shootings, windows and glass doors broken and a community, a country feeling broken and wanting the violence to stop. Authorities say the suspect involved in the standoff said they were bombs placed around the city. Dallas police say they have not found any explosives. The Army announced this morning that Micah Johnson had served as an enlisted soldier and did one tour of duty in Afghanistan. In an unusual news conference today, Mobile Mayor Sandy Stimson addressed the unrest of the past week. And without specifically talking about any case, he also seemed to address the division in Mobile brought on by the police shooting of Michael Moore. We do recognize that all across this country, lives both here and the nation have been changed forever. As we move forward, I call on each of us to look beyond our own lenses how we view each other and how we view our city and move toward a life committed to helping a neighbor, mentoring a child, serving a greater purpose than oneself. Today, the mayor is on his way to the Farnborough Air Show in London to market the city to potential aviation businesses. That show begins next week. Law enforcement across the country and right here at home are feeling the pain from the violence in Dallas overnight. The Baldwin County Sheriff's Office held a short prayer service this morning. News 5's Chad Petrie was there and he joins us now live from our Foley newsroom with more. Chad? Well, Devin, when you're a 10 hour drive from Dallas, much of the country is praying. The Baldwin County Sheriff's Office pausing to remember that tragedy in Dallas. Deputies with the Sheriff's Office and a few other agencies from around Baldwin County gathered at the Fallen Officer Memorial in Robertsdale this morning for a simple prayer service. It was led by three Baldwin County Sheriff's Office chaplains and highlighted by three different prayers, a prayer for Dallas, a prayer for peace and a prayer for protection of law enforcement. Baldwin County Sheriff Huey Haas Max says men and women with a badge are at their core keepers of the peace. And that's really what we're trying to do is keep the peace. And I think that's one of the things that makes the situation that happened in Dallas so tragic is that those law enforcement officers were protecting the rights of those individuals that were demonstrating in a peaceful demonstration and subsequently they were assassinated. Officers at the prayer gathering said what happened in Dallas can have an effect on their duties. Sometimes people they come in contact with in public may be hostile just because they don't like what some police officers represent. Now five roses were left at the memorial in memory of those five Dallas officers. Also the flags at that memorial in Robertsdale will be kept at half staff until the funerals are completed. Live in Foley, Chad Petrie, Devin back to you.